Lesson I learned. These are different sizes. Taller, shorter. Taller, shorter. Quick lesson this from Junkyard Dave. This is the driver's side. Passenger side, they are shorter. Driver's side is taller. Passenger side is shorter. Thanks, Junkyard Dave. Well, as you guys can tell, we got all the parts to finish up the rear. Well, as you guys can tell, we got all the parts to finish up the rear end of Jade. And that's what we're gonna start tackling today. I have a lot of projects that I wanna get done today. A lot of cool stuff that I have to fill you guys in on because it's been a while since I uploaded and I wanna apologize about that. But the content that we had, I just didn't feel was really worthy of being uploaded. I also had a chemistry midterm and a calculus midterm. So I was a little sidetracked. I just didn't have time to edit. And so since the content wasn't great anyways, weekend off. So let me give you guys a real quick rundown on what happened. We spent most of the day watching FD, let's be honest, but I'm sure you guys have seen in the clip so far that I have been vigorously working on wrapping this car. Uh, we'll go into details about it later as to why I did this instead of painting like we had originally planned. This side, just don't look at it. It hasn't been done yet. Michael is still waiting on a clutch, waiting on a dash connector. His car is just on hold. I'll let him fill you in on that if and when he shows up. Kaylin's gonna be by today as well as my sister and law and one of her friends and I think Dustin might swing through and I think we're gonna end up going for a little cruise unconfirmed at this point but we were talking about it yesterday and so I got a few hours to get all these projects done so let's get started throwing these axles in We got those axles all in. Everything tightened up back here. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed the brakes. I lowered the front of the car. Hopefully I can make this higher then so it'll wanna push that out a little more. So I'm gonna have Kaylin come over, rip on that hydro a little bit, and uh, let's see if we can get these to bleed some more. Just pull the hydro. Oh, lots of air in there. Well, as you guys saw, there was a bunch of air that came out of those lines, thankfully. I threw the wheel on. I kind of want to put it down on the ground and see how she sits. At the same time, I know I have to bring it back up to uh, wrap the other side, but... now nah, let's put it on the ground. Let's see what happens. Super stoked on how this looks. So is that Everyone here likes the white strip. Let me know what you guys think. It probably doesn't matter. I'm probably still gonna run it, but. I can't continue wrapping on this side today because I forgot to grab my blades and the blade that I have here is completely turfed. It's just kind of tearing through it and not really cutting. And uh, Real quick though, I found a headlight bucket at Pick and Pull. Uh, last weekend, Michael and I went and I scored like the window molding or like the little window seal. And then Michael also scored some hood hinges, which was a nice come up. We definitely needed those. Kaylin is about to go pick up lunch. And I was gonna go for a drive with Dustin this afternoon, but unfortunately the Mark III has given me some troubles and I don't wanna push my luck with it. So unfortunately, that's not how the end of this video is gonna go. Um, and I wanted to get this side prepped and ready to go so that next weekend I can just wrap this side up and just be done. 
on. Um, I guess I still have to do the front bumper, which I'm dreading, but I still have to rivet on the rear quarter. I'm waiting on that because I'm considering cutting out some more. I was thinking about cutting this stuff out. I'm not sure yet. I think it's, Kaylin thinks I should do like a rear bash bar before I do that. I think that she's actually got some good logic with that. So kind of just holding out to rivet on these rear overs till uh, I make up my mind on that. But in order for me to get these fenders ready, I'm gonna cut out uh, this lip. And that does add a lot of structure to these fenders, but I've already cut them out on this and it allows it for this fender to really flex. Same thing back here. It just allows it to like, you know, pop in, pop out, and it'll save uh, an over fender, some fiberglass later on if I make contact with anything, when I make contact with something. Plus like up front, it wasn't so much of an issue. I was rubbing a little bit, but I could have got away with it in the rear. On this side, I was definitely rubbing. I don't want to cut up these fiberglass fenders with Kaylin and Emma in the shop just because they're messy. You get all this fiberglass dust and we're gonna go ahead and do this while she's getting lunch. And then we'll get that side thrown together. Well, now that I'm all coked out, we got some fenders put on. Well, one, I'm gonna wash my face and then I gotta grab some, some Clecos to put in there. All right, and just like that, I'm a little bit cleaner. I just set it on there for now. Uh, the rear, it's all Clecoed up. We won't be wrapping anymore today because I don't have a fresh razor blade. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, I mentioned earlier how the rear end of this car was shifted. You really pay attention to the amount of poke and where the wheel sits in regards to the arch. Whereas over here, it actually sits in. So it's, it's shifted over a good, probably good inch, honestly. Now that will be addressed, but uh, what I'll probably end up doing is when we do the tube rear on this, basically cut it here, back and all of that will be, we'll leave obviously like the tail lights, but it won't be attached, so I'll be able to pull them and that will fix the uh, the placement of these over fenders. It's definitely uh, kind of a shitty situation. That's how we got the car. Honestly, we didn't know that there was this much damage to it. Probably would have been a little more reluctant to buy it. And that's why this car is, you know, a track car. <laughs> Kaylin's daily like we had originally planned. But like I said, we will get it taken care of. It'll probably be something that happens when we do the tube rear, uh, which I think will happen around the same time we do the cage this winter. I'm gonna go get uh, all washed up. I'm already feeling itchy from that fiberglass. I wanna go just wash myself off again and then Kaylin should be here. We're gonna eat some lunch and we'll dive into this wiring harness. So I got the, uh, the wiring harness up to the front seat, but it's time to head home. Gotta make it home for dinner and then we're gonna watch some uh, Jessica Jones. If you haven't checked that out, Netflix, pretty good. Today was pretty successful, I think. We got uh, the rear axles in, we got the car on the ground. Didn't really hit the wrap at all today, but that'll come later. We got uh, the passenger side ready to go. We got the rear harness, three quarters of the way done. And you know, we got to hang out with uh, Kaylin and Emma and Celine and Skylar and it was just a nice chill day. 
that you know is actually pretty successful. Usually when we have chill days, nothing gets done. Next time we will be getting the rest of this car wrapped up. Uh, we'll get this rear harness all hooked up and get the ECU hooked up. Uh, I gotta do an oil change still. Once we do that, this thing should, fingers crossed, should be ready to, uh, ready to roll. If this is your first time tuning in, thanks for checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe button for me because uh, we are trying to hit 500 subs this year. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. We really appreciate it. And we hope you guys are enjoying uh, what we have to show you. This car will be at the NorCal S Chassis Me uh, in Elk Grove, California on May 6th. Uh, link down in the description. As soon as they release tickets to Bash to the Future, I'll swoop up one of those. My dad's gonna be coming down from Washington. We will pretty much spend the week with uh, my dad and possibly my uncle, doing a once over on the car, making sure it's all dialed in, ready to go. Uh, and then he's gonna go to Bash with us and uh, hang out for the weekend. And then he's gonna head home afterwards. I do have confirmation. I have already purchased my spot for Hot August Nights. So I will be there for straight days of drifting if you guys are in the area and want to come check it out we'll be there come say hi and maybe we'll come up with some other events along the way which we'll be sure to to keep you guys informed on so we'll see you guys next weekend later peace out ninja